Hello, this is Christobar, and welcome to episode number 20 of Putting the Baseball Card Collection Together. In these episodes, I do just that. I work on putting my baseball card collection together. You're more than welcome to work on your collection or crack open some packs of your own if you want. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to be working on my collection a while, and this is going to be pretty long. These are pretty long series. Um, in this one, I'm going to be working on uh, Series 2, Tops Baseball Series 2. I'm going to be putting it all in order, and then I'm going to be putting it in the binder, so it's going to be from front to back, from like start to finish. Uh, Tops 2019 Tops Series 2. Um, what you see here is these are all the inserts and stuff that I've received from Series 1. I'm going to combine Series 1 with Series 2 inserts, and so I'll put them all at the end of after Series 2 or whatnot. So there's that. So yeah, I'm sorting Series 1 right now of what I have. That's what this is. Series 1 of just the inserts. I already have Series 1 set in a binder over there and of course because if you saw that one binder time for top series one or whatever 2019 top series one but yeah so um it's been a while it's been since like march 31st uh that i put out the last episode of this i think it was because so many the baseball season was about to heat up and all that and all these different you know all the different products are coming out and it's just one after another product and i created this series because you know to fill in gaps and you know and to help me push through getting my baseball card collection organized and whatnot but um yeah so put that in the wrong pile so uh yeah it's great for like the off season when there's not as many things coming out not as many uh, products revolution of the game where you know you have a little drought or and some things I don't even get like you know the high end products start coming out the last few months of the year that I don't a few high end products that I don't I don't purchase because they're just too expensive I'll just stick the chrome and maybe tops finest every once in a while and that's all the higher I will go, pretty much. But yeah, so these are the Series 1 inserts. I'll go through and show you them all after I'm done. I put Series 2s over here sitting. I already put them in order. And while you don't see my sorting tray, is because this was an impromptu thing. I, was, I just started sorting out my... I was like, I want to put my Series 2 together. So I figured I'll sort out the inserts first so they're all sorted out and then after that it's the the main the main drag the all the cards base cards whatever you want to call them commons bases base get the base anyway so i hope you enjoy if not then this may not be for you uh i know starting out on way before I started uploading videos to YouTube. The, what I would do is I would watch a couple of different, it was only like a couple of different guys at the time, open up packs and boxes of baseball cards and stuff. And I would open up my, whatever I get, I get a hobby box and I'd sit there and group it, open up packs while I was watching them open up their packs and stuff. It was pretty, pretty fun. I mean, because, you know, you don't have any real friends anymore that, I mean, at this age, I don't have any friends that really collect baseball cards anymore. That was back in my childhood, but I still enjoy the hobby. It's fun for me and that. So, got a lot of these. Yeah, so I'm going to be going from front to back, sorting all the top series two cards, and then I'm going to be 
putting them in a binder and then that'll be it but it's gonna be this will definitely be two videos if not three maybe four i'm going to split it out into different parts so it's not like an hour and a half long and it won't take six hours to upload <laughs> because anything over a half an hour you get into the territory where it takes hours to upload so i don't want that so i'm going to chop it into probably like 25 minute bits 20 to 25 minutes if i find a good parking spot or <laughs> stopping spot i'll go ahead and stop but probably 25 minutes so plan on this being a 25 minute video hey what's this that's goes here i'm talking too much i'm not paying attention to my sorting here just like a foil it's a different one okay so we're almost done here huh that's weird and there's that <laughs> jacob de Gram. i forgot to put him in a in a, a sleeve and top loader all right there he is i gotta bore you with that stuff i don't know Okay, so put that aside. Okay. All right, so here we go. Here's series two, what I received. So I'm gonna put everything together here. Looks like I didn't get too many numbered cards. Now one, a couple of these uh, short prints has a short print. That is uh, 1967. I'm not sure what the super short print is, number is. So there we go. Just took out some sorting time for those because we got a lot of sorting to, sorting to do there. So I wanted to show you these. These are the hits I received from Series 1, Top Series 1 Baseball. Um, so there's the, I guess, the Blaster Box one, Babe Ruth, nice. And I wanted to show you these. I guess Carlos Correa is who I was pulling because there's Carlos Correa. Series 1. And there's Carlos Correa again. Huh. Series one. And then there is a short print, Carlos Correa. <laughs> it's uh, 1967 instead of 1910 or wherever the heck the, the number was. And there's the Shohei Otane manufactured uh, commemorative hat logo patch. So there's that from series one and then Jacob de Grom series one all right and then series two a uh, blaster box open so far was I received the Albert Pujols and I received four hits in the box whatever the, the yeah box the jumbo hobby box which included this here logo commemorative logo patch which was really nice a chris taylor autograph and joey gallo i think i'm missing a hit here that's what i was looking and victor robles i think i'm missing a hit that went with that because i think this victor robles came out of the first regular hobby box i could be wrong I'll have to go back and look. And then this came from yesterday's video. Epic pull. Raphael Devers. Autograph relic card number to 30. Cool. All right. Spoiler alert. A day later, if you haven't watched that video. <laughs> so anyways, there's that. Okay. So we have these all ready to go. These are the inserts. I'm going to put them way back there because... Uh, put them way back there because they'll come real, way, way last. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and get my sorting tray out. So I will be our B. All right. So here we go. Pull this here. Try to get it on camera. So I did find while well, sorting through here and putting these cars up, I did find here's the other hit. It was Anthony Rizzo was the, the hit that was missing out of a, one of the, so this was out of the, one of the hobby boxes, numbered out 150, I believe, yeah, uh, series two, yep, series two, out oh, series two hobby box, so I'm gonna have to sleeve that up then too, and here's of course more inserts that were, that were there on that pile, so I'm going to have to put, put those in that order as well, so, all right, so put these, so I put all the cards in here and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sort them by the hundreds so I, I just break them down by it's gonna take a while break them down by hundreds then tens then singles and then boom binder time so it's it's a process so this see it's 400 it'll go quick because it's easy to sort so we have See, we should have 300, 400, and 500, and then 600 for, I think it's 330 for each set. So, three, four, five, and six should go up to 660, maybe? So maybe I should put this over here. There, three. So I'll put 300s in this row, and I'll put 400s in this row, and then 500s and 600s, so on and so forth. All right, so there's gonna be a lot of them. I might pause it and, and go forward kind of like I did that binder video just so it doesn't take forever because this is already going to be a couple videos long. I know that because <laughs> the binder itself will probably take a whole video if not <laughs> longer, but it's relaxing. Just relax, get back, kick back and relax. Get your favorite beverage. I have a uh, Nice large cup of coffee and some water, a bottle of water. So always make sure I'm hydrated whenever I drink coffee and stuff. I'll drink a little bit of coffee and then I'll drink some drink some water and stuff. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't show you the all the inserts when I was done sorting them. I'm sorry about that. I just forgot because I just wanted to get get this done. Hopefully, if I remember, I will show them to you before I put these in the binder or something. Man. Or maybe at the beginning of the next, of the next video. Who knows? All I know is we got to get going. Get this sorting done. Get her done. Sunday afternoon. It's been raining all weekend. Pretty crummy for holiday weekend but it let me get some stuff done inside i still had to cook out it it stopped raining long enough to uh cook out over at my mom's house i cook some hot dogs and sausages and hamburgers of course i pre-cooked some barbecue chicken on our grill the day before on the fourth we had it on saturday we had it because we the wife and i took off you know to have a nice four-day weekend and so we had a cookout at my mom's house, just the three of us. And I pre-cooked the chicken on our grill. So because he, my mom's is a, a charcoal grill, it's a really nice charcoal grill, but to cook chicken on it, it's really, really tough because charcoal burns so hot. You have to be really, really careful and almost wait until the coals are almost done and depleted so that doesn't singe and then you get food poisoning from you know the chicken not being being raw on the inside but singed on the outside yeah so we didn't want that side so went ahead and cooked it on our gas grill that we have and stuff came out really good nice and delicious matter of fact we're gonna have some more leftovers today yeah, there's nothing like the charcoal grill though it puts a really great flavor 
and hot dogs and hamburgers and all that good stuff. Makes it taste really good. That smoke flavor. <laughs> but only once in a while. You don't want to do it all the time. Because that's not healthy, of course. But, you know, holidays and stuff. Yeah, have at it. Yes. Getting the sorting done. 2019 Top Series 2 Baseball. Sorting the cards. Right. So we almost got some filled here. Yeah, 300 won't be as much because Series 1 went up to 330. So you'll have like 331 to 399 or whatever. So there won't be as, as many 300s. As the other numbers, and there won't be, shouldn't be as many 600s, hundreds either as it goes up to 660. So the main numbers will be 400 and 500 because they're, you know, of course, the whole hundred cards in the series. All right, 15 minutes in, got a little bit of progress done. Look at that, I forgot I pulled that. It's a black number uh, 299 of the that. <laughs> I was stuck in between there. That was weird. All right. I'll try to keep my hands on camera so you can see what's going on. I think I had them way over here. It's like, what are you doing, dude? They can't see anything except for the cards over here. Oh well. Almost getting full. 500 is getting there as well. All right. All right. unsung duty of a collector is sorting their collection sometimes it's okay but because you sometimes forget oh I forgot I I forgot I pulled that you, you know you come across cards that you forgot that you pulled and stuff but let me put this over here yeah I tend to be lazy and don't don't work on my collection too much. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to putting my cards away and stuff. I don't put my toys away when I'm done. I just leave them all out down in the in the man cave. The whole basement is my cave. The whole basement. So I do. Right here we go. Ah, that's good coffee. Gotta start five down here. All right. Yeah, what I should have done with the with the base cards anyways I should have just set aside the jumbo hobby box 
because we proved in one of these episodes that you do indeed receive a whole set of baseball cards with a in a jumbo box. So I should have just set that aside and make sure I set those two stacks aside and just use those to sort instead of these are like all the boxes I opened so far of series two. <laughs> so it's gonna be extra long to to sort them, which unfortunately <laughs> I don't know which stacks were the jumbo box, so I'm just forced to forced to Sort them all. Sort all the cards. It's 20 minutes in already. Holy moly. Yeah, what I'll do is... Whenever, after posting this, whenever I go to post the next one, I'll put a card up here to the next episode. And I'll post them, I don't know, I guess a half hour apart so that... When you're when this one's done being watched, just about, then the next one will be up and live, pretty much. I don't want to post them all at one time because then it just overwhelms the system and it goes what, and then you might not you might not receive them at all. YouTube might go what? What is all this? Oh, look, seven hundred. Huh. So it must have went up to three fifty, and then. <laughs> so 700 I'll put that aside that's prob probably the last card I'll see that's the only card of that okay all right what I did was I I moved the cards back because this starting if the with the last two rows are are deeper they're deeper so they hold more cards so I went ahead and moved them back there until so when these fill up again I'll just move them back again and stuff like that yeah so now we have nice open space to work with down below down here there we go so yeah stay tuned for part two like I said I'm not sure how many parts this may end up being uh four parts <laughs> the way it's going even five so we'll see i'm just i'm gonna go until it goes i not i don't care how many videos it takes I mean, i'll pause it here and there to forward the progress like i did a couple times already but other than that i'm gonna see this through all the way through hopefully i'll get it done <laughs> get her done basket bucket basket tray tray shelf thingy <laughs> slot wrong slot here <laughs> I have to watch the times coming up on 24 minutes Wow that went quick Jeez. just barely scratched the surface video and I'll move on to the next video we have 
Yeah, so it's been it's been about coming up on 25 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video, and I'm gonna oh man, that, that corner thrashed. Let me just put that over there, thrash corner, just to make sure I don't do anything with it. So it's been, what, 25 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and call it after this little stack here. And I'll start another video. So this was, this has been part one of episode 20 of putting the baseball card collection together. Feel free to tap that like, share, and or subscribe button. Leave a comment if you like. I'll see you, hopefully, in part two where we will continue putting our baseball card collection together. Yeah. So look out for that. Like I said, I'm going to post it a half an hour from when this posted. So hopefully by the time this is done, the next one will be up momentarily or whatever. Or if you pause this a couple times, then it might already, might already be up. So there you go. Look for part two and I will see you later.